Hi guys, welcome back to Yorkshire Car Restorations. Now in this video, we're going to be finishing this rear arch. We're also going to be finishing this side sill as well. We're going to get them all finally welded in. Um, not only that, we're going to address this inner arch as well. The one we couldn't decide whether we're going to replace or repair. Well, I think you're going to like what we did with it. For a while, we've been wondering what we're going to do about this wheel arch section. As you can see, it's got a nasty patch down here, all the way down here. This floor section here, a nasty patch as well. This corner, I don't think we could make anything good of it. This top, I don't know. And this back section um, is half gone anyway. The only really good thing about it is this inner and just about three quarters of this top. So we're gonna have a think about the top, but the wheel arches are expensive. About 175 pound for the pair. Now for 250, we bought a bead roller. Let's go show you it. This is the bead roller. And I had to play around with it. Found I'm pretty good with it. How to make things like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make this one here as well now. to do now is pop some holes down here, here, here and here ready for us to spot weld it in. Jobs are good.
Right, and there you can see, horrible, double nasty patchy. Look at those welds. Wow. Bird poo. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's held. We still need to get the adjoining panel here where the, this panel went round this corner and then it was tack welded on here. Whoa, that's so wobbly now. much nicer right before we can put this outer wheel arch on uh, get it welded in finally um, we need to sort out this floor here this um, back of the inner wheel arch section and this uh, bottom floor section as well um, we do that we'll be able to attach and weld on the outer quarter uh, I think we're going to start with the top of this arch so let's crack on As you can see, nice piece of metal there. So for us to make this section here. Um, we, at the moment, we kind of don't know how far to come out because this uh, rear quarter isn't on. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put a bar across here so that we've, uh, we've got something to work to. As you can see, We've just clamped a bar on, a straight bar, straight across there so we know where the rear quarter, we'll be using this bar again as well, so we know where the rear quarter is gonna lay. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up to that and make our top section. We've got a nice curve in there. Now what we're gonna do, because we don't want that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop it in the shrinker and we're just gonna take, take that edge out a little bit. Nice and straight.
café. As you can see, those uh, edges now aren't overlapping, they're now flush. Same with these here, they're now flush. We're now ready to weld those sides on. No exact science here. You can see a much sharper edge on there. Right, I think you can safely say that looks pretty good. It's nice down here, eventually. A little bit of a wiggle we need to take out in there, but a bit of panel beating. Oh, 
only light pressure. That kind of works. Underneath here isn't welded on yet. Um, I've just got one pair of more grips holding there, but with just a few tacks you can see how nice and solid it's not even welded across here it's not welded in the arch and with it just a two, two with just a few tacks around the uh, panel panels it turns them into usable panels instead of absolute rubbish because they were absolute rubbish we don't even need this one on then Can't wait to weld all them on. Cool, so that's his next job. Getting it all welded up, making a panel for here, welding this on the inside, uh, but welding that down the back, uh, offering that back panel up. Right, we missed this footage, but we've made this corner. It literally was a flat panel it just slotted under there, just seam welded it there, spot welded it there, it was just a triangle with a little, little edge on it. That's all it was. Nice and easy. It's looking like a Suzuki again. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. Make sure you catch the next one in this series where we'll be continuing finishing this side off, finishing all these welds, showing you a bit of book welding as well as seam welding. Uh, and then we'll be taking stock of the rest of the car uh, and trying to find out where actually we're going to start with the rest of the restoration probably the inner wings or maybe the bonnet um, if you've enjoyed the video do leave us a like and make sure you click that subscribe button um, also join us on uh, Yorkshire Car Restorations on Instagram um, but for now catch you later